We accept our pets, our dogs at different sizes, right? Why do we have such a hard time sometimes accepting ourselves at various sizes? I was at the dog park recently and looking at all the different size dogs that were running around having such a great time. You know, there were leaner dogs and, um, and more um, athletic looking dogs and then there were little more fluffier dogs and then you had some little weenie dogs running around. Even though we were in the big dog park, they just, you know, had to be there hanging out with the big boys. You know, and then we've got more active dogs and more uh, passive ones that would just kind of rather sit on the sidelines. Um, so many people, myself included, back in my dieting days, I tried to achieve a physique, a size, a weight that just genetically it was not possible. I remember longing for my mom's lean legs, and yet uh, instead I was uh, uh, inherited my dad's thick thighs. Um, eventually I came to accept that. Hi, Rex. You want to be in my, you're in my video, you know. It's getting to be that time of day. Where was I? Perhaps you're built a little bit more fluffier, like a St. Bernard or a Great Pyrenees, or maybe you're, you know, on the leaner side. No matter how hard you try, um, no matter how, our, how many hours you spend at the gym, no matter how obsessive you become about every bite that you take, physically, you just might not be able to get to that size that just, it's not in your DNA. Sure, you may be able to slim down a little bit, but um, at what cost? Acceptance is so important for um, physical and emotional health. Um, that's what I want people to do, is just accept who they are, what they have, Perhaps maybe I can help inspire somebody else not to go down that path. Let's be like our dogs. Accept the different sizes that we have. Yeah, do that. Thank you. Thank you.